Ruby Rose just sounds like a star. And when you see her on screen, right away she looks like one too. The actress put herself on the map in 2014 with the self-produced video Break Free, which left 25 million YouTube viewers asking, who is that? Since then, Rose has joined the cast of Orange is the New Black. And with three major movies opening in the space of a few weeks and another in December, 2017 is shaping up to be her year. For our Sunday sit down, I spent some time with Ruby at her favorite Los Angeles restaurant, Crossroads Kitchen, where she introduced me to a couple of her unique favorites. The impossible burger. Impossible because it's never on the menu, or you can't get it. <laughs> it feels a bit like that, yeah. <laughs> but because it tastes impossibly close to a real hamburger without any animals in it. This I ordered on your recommendation, and I have no idea what I'm about to I know, say. and now neither do I. But I don't think I've ever had it. But it, I think there's charcoal in, in this because it's so oh, dark, which means we better not smile a lot. Should we give it a try? Let's give it a try. Cheers. Impossible burgers and charcoal may be the secrets of her success. But big, broad talent doesn't hurt either. So with three franchise films opening within a month of each other, Ruby Rose is about to become a household name. Oh, so, so we are embarking mm -hmm. on an incredible year for you right now. Yeah. Does this feel like a big moment for you in your career? It does. Last year felt like the year where I just worked back to back solidly, that I couldn't really catch up on what I'd just done or how, how far I'd come. And this year is when everything kind of comes out and Everyone can judge me on a really public level. <laughs> it's very exciting. The 30-year-old Rose was born to a single mother. The two moved frequently throughout Ruby's childhood and struggled financially. At one point, Ruby even joined a church choir just so she and her mother could live in the parish. Were you even aware that it was a struggle or was it all you knew so it felt mm, normal? I knew it was a struggle. I, I, it was very, for a kid I was in survival mode, I think for a lot of it. Um, and I didn't get the, the normal, you know, kid things. I didn't work that out till m much later. When I went to high school, I realized then that maybe my upbringing was slightly different. But, you know, I did always know that things were tough, you know, things were definitely tough. You came out to your mom when you were 12 years old? I did. That was, that was a fine thing to do, though. Like, when I told her, she was like, I know. Oh, really? Yeah, she knew when I was six, apparently. Really? I was like, really, Mom? I don't think I even knew it. I don't know if that's possible, but apparently it is, and it makes sense. Were you worried about telling her at 12 years old? I was just worried because I didn't quite know, I didn't know it was a thing. Like, I knew how I felt, I knew what I kind of identified as, that the words gay or lesbian, I, I, I kind of, I didn't know anyone else that was gay or a lesbian, so I didn't really know what to, how to word it. So I was just like, I think I should let you know that when I eventually get a boyfriend, there'll be a girl, <laughs> you know, and she was just like, I know. Accepted and loved at home, Ruby was bullied at school for her unconventional looks, an experience she said helped her, oddly enough, when she stepped into the celebrity spotlight. What kind of bullying did you see though later? That was when the, the violent kind of bullying. High school bullying really prepares you for when you're gonna get so public, <laughs> public uh, affection and the other, the opposite. Right. Rose's first break came while she was working as a customer cool. service representative, answering complaints over the phone. She had entered a contest to be a host on MTV Australia and got a phone call at work that she'd won. Joining me now is Jessie J. She also DJed to make extra money. Eventually though, Rose set her sights on being an actress in America. A short film called Break Free, produced by Rose herself, changed everything. How does it happen? Over the course of the five minute video, Rose, who describes herself as gender fluid, transforms from a traditionally feminine woman into a traditional man. Break Free was Ruby's way of telling the world who she is. And what was the message you were trying to send when you made that video? The message that I wanted to sort of explain to my fans, which is who I was sort of doing it for, was why I dress the way that I dress or why I am the way that I am, because I still was getting those questions of, you know, why does she look like a boy? Why doesn't she, you know, she could be so pretty if only she had longer hair and, you know, wore more makeup and, and wore a dress sometimes. And I was like, well, it's, it's a bit more complicated than that. So I did that for them. I didn't know I was on the tipping point, but I knew that the world was starting to talk about transgender and, and gender as a whole. And so the fact that it's even gotten 25 million views, that's wild. After that video caught fire, the phone began to ring. 
Netflix wanted Ruby to audition for the part of inmate Stella Carlin on Orange is the New Black. Do tell. Alex. Come on. I'm just trying to hang out with our new friend Justin Bieber. Would you like to go speak privately? I can leave. No. So tell me about the phone call when Orange called. I saw the, the subject and it was like, Orange is the new black Ruby Rose, and so coming from my DJ agent, I just assumed it was like a Orange is the new black tribute party, right. and they wanted me to DJ and like dress as an inmate or something. You know, I was just like, oh yeah, I'll probably still do it. <laughs> I just sort of stared at it for a really long time and wrote back and said, you have to be kidding me, of course I want to audition how, when, where. And so I did it to try to be professional and did a tape. And uh, when I didn't get a call to go to New York, I sort of thought I'd not gotten it. And then they called and said, actually, we, we love it so much, we, we just want you to be in the show. You don't need to do right it. Right then and there. Yeah. Wow. And I was like, great. When, where? They're like, New York, next week, you start. And I was like, oh my goodness. OK, this is happening. I had to move to New York. So I've watched all these films. I mean, I just, uh, <laughs> As her star continues to rise, Ruby laughs about being at the center of celebrity culture. So lots been made of you and Taylor Swift being buddies. <laughs> yeah. How did that I friendship laugh. come about? That people like it's an accolade. It's like they, they, they don't want to talk about like you won a SAG award or you did yeah. orange. Like you made it. Your friends are Taylor Swift. You're in the squad. You're in the squad. <laughs> like yeah, that is really cool. I mean, she's she's amazing. She's a, one of the best friends that I have. It's very normal. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly normal how normal she is. And Ruby is in a few on-screen squads right now as well, starring in three big budget action movies. There's Resident Evil with Mila Jovovich. Who knew? I guess I was paying attention after all. John Wick with Keanu Reeves. And oh Triple X with you. Vin Diesel. You actually know what you're doing down there. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> I can't even with, I've been really lucky that I've worked with all my heroes throughout these films that I may never need to work again. Uh, <laughs> but until Meryl, Meryl Streep, but anyway. It is, it literally is cliche and I sh just can't, I hope this isn't a sound bite, but it's, it's like a young me, all of my dreams coming true. Like, I, that's the one thing I do reflect on is what would the six-year-old me think about this moment? What would the 10-year-old me think about this moment? The 16-year-old, I mean, she just would have been like, ah, you know, it, it just, it does make me get a bit teary. What a year for you, my friend. Yeah, let's cheers. Let's charcoal cheers. Sure, charcoal that. cheers. Uh -huh. <laughs> That was some good charcoal, too. We mentioned Ruby sang in the church choir as a child. Those pipes will come in handy when she stars later this year in yet another surefire hit movie, Pitch Perfect 3. Meanwhile, Resident Evil, the final chapter, and Triple X, Return of Xander Cage are in theaters now. John Wick, Chapter 2, hits theaters Friday. I told you she's busy. To hear about the friendly rivalry of one-upmanship between Ruby and fellow Aussie actress Margot Robbie, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.